Ah, you've returned. Hubba. Does this mean we're headed to one of the worlds you spoke of? An outrealm torn by warring Einhurar that have minds and wills of their own? Indeed it does, but good news. You'll have allies. I fooled one of the opposing sides into thinking they summoned you. <laughs> Told them I foresaw it, then played up my age to throw off any suspicions. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Sigurd. Leif has sent a messenger. He's managed to splinter the enemy. Splinter Quan! I would expect no less from any son of yours. We should attack now while the ranks are thin. Agreed! Send a messenger to Selim. Let him march from the castle and bring all our might down in the Arcanians. We'll crush them from both sides! Lord Selif, I have a message from your Lord Father. Let's have it, Fee. He asks you to part the castle and attack the enemy at once. Right then. Ready the men! We've been decimated. Lord Horus, we don't have much time before the Yggdrali finish us off. Damn! We're fastly outnumbered. Indeed we are. But I have a plan. Tell me, Katarina. Quickly! I've summoned aid from another world. They should appear near King Mart's party at any moment. We must hold out. Two mighty armies set against each other. And one of them believes they summoned us. But which one? I suppose a few moments of battle ought to sort that out quickly enough. Indeed. Let's go! So you are the otherworldly force Katarina mentioned? Yes, sire. You can see the lay of the land. I would welcome any counsel you can give. Are you certain? Why would I not be? We're strangers. How do you know you can trust us? I just do. But more importantly, I trust Katarina, the one who brought you here. You place such faith in your subordinates. They are lucky. Any good leader trusts his comrades. A leader is made by his comrades. Never forget that. I won't. Thank you, sire. My counsel is yours to use as you see fit. Then you have my thanks as well. No, this simply cannot go unrectified. Huh? Are you addressing me, my lord? But of course, I have eyes for no other. And you're from some kind of outside world, is that right? The ins and outs of it are a matter of perspective, my lady. But yes. I see. Tell me then, what needs to be rectified? The way you handle your ball! You should wield it with more grace. Grace matters, does it? A lady needs to be supple, aware of her gloves, and taut under pressure. And what does a lady's bow need to do? Aha! Nothing gets past you, does it? We speak the same language. Well, my lord, it's truly kind of you to offer such enthusiastic instruction. But I think I'd rather bend my curves and tickle my bowstrings alone. Wait! I only... Oh, she's gone. But a shame. For once, I thought I'd met a kindred spirit. You, sir. Outrealms man. Might I ask a favor of you? What is it, my lady? I can see you are a knight of ability. I wish for us to do battle. But, my lady, we are allies. I know, but I believe in seizing every opportunity to better myself. Do you now? Then all the more reason I must refuse. Why? Do you see me as weak? I see you as a young. Picking fights with everyone stronger than you is no way to better yourself. No way who to fight is what puts you above the rest. Fight your enemies, not your friends. I shall have to remember that. Oh. What's wrong, boy? Carried over your troubles here from the other world? No, it's nothing like that. You can't fool me. We're all counting on you, you know. If you aren't focused, we suffer for it. You mean that? You're really counting on me? Why wouldn't we? It's just, everyone treats me like a child. I've all but given up on feeling needed. Time you ran home, then. What? And leave Krom? I could never. Then gird your loins and fight. Are you a man? Only you can decide. Don't let others decide for you. Hey, you're right. 
If you want to feel needed, make yourself necessary. Let them weigh you in good deeds, not birthdays. And stop moping. I don't think I've ever gotten better advice. Thanks! Now it's time for me to earn my place on the field. Wee! <laughs> Yous from the out realms? Sram, what's it to you? Yous and me's are like peas in a pod. Never thought we'd meet a man so much like yourselves. Wee! <laughs> Hardly. Yeah, I may wallow in blood and giggle at the screams of widows, but you and me, the same? R2? What makes you so sure? What makes you so unsure? I've got morals and a code of honor. Right and wrong and so forth. Might be a little messed up, I guess. But I still have them. Rights and wrongs is don't matter. Only doing what we's told. There, see? We're not peas in a pod. We're like two different pods. We're here. So he is. But since we're on the same side, we can still wreak havoc together. We're here. Now there's motivations we can get behind. Broadfield battles for the both of us. What? You are a strange one. Are you not human? No. Feel free to hate me for it. I am more than accustomed to the derision of man spawn. And why would we hate you? You accused me of being not human. We asked. We did not accuse. And in fact, we find you to be a darling. I am not some pet. Are you always this suspicious? We like you. Because we like you. We do not always like puppies and such. But you, we find agreeable. You are like... A kindred spirit. Really? Then I thank you. We will speak more later and share stories. If you are not wary of us. I welcome the company. Ugh, gods. Lighten up, please. Was that directed at me, sir? Just looking at you is driving me up the wall. And we're outdoors. How have I given offense? It's your attitude. I can practically see the storm clouds floating above you. For all our sakes, could you relax a little bit? I don't see how it's any of your concern. Hey, I'm just trying to help. You're hurting morale and look ready to hurt yourself. So talk to someone. I can control what ails me. I can control everything except... Is that what you're about? Control? <sighs> see so prattle and fight, damn you! By the gods, his life is not going to end well. Hey, excuse me. I have something I need to ask you. Do you? I do! <sighs> then perhaps you'd like to ask it. Yeah, I would! So, um, what do people in your world say before they declare all-out war? The point of your question escapes me. Tell your foe, you gotta yell something, right? Like, Infidels are prepared to die! Or, May the better soldier win! I wanna make a bigger impression when I bash someone's head in. Then perhaps you should invest in a heavier weapon. Come on, I'm serious! Never mind, I'll ask someone else. A moment, my lady? If I may. One of the warriors I summoned? What is it, sir? It strikes me that you might be this army's tactician. I cannot say I bear so haughty a title, though I do deal in strategic matters. Then might I beg a boon? Yes? When we have time, could you tell about your history with this force? And also, where you envision yourself in the years to come? Might I ask why? One day, I hope to be worthy of leading my own army to great victories. I find that learning from my superiors expedites matters. Well, that's very flattering. I would be happy to share my knowledge. However, you may find the wellspring to be rather shallow, so to speak. I highly doubt that. You do me an honor, my lady. You are a sellsword, yes? Who's asking? Gregor the sellsword. 
Oh, so they have mercenaries in your world? Stands to reason, I suppose. War is business, yes, and the business is everywhere. It's a job, I suppose. It puts food on the table. And that is life ambition? To find the next meal? A lot can happen between meals. I keep you interesting. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Gregor like you. Gregor like you very much. Carry on then. Leith, an unknown force has appeared to the northeast. They just appeared out of the ether? They cannot be of this world. If we didn't summon them... They must be with the enemy. We should go on the offensive and assist Lord Sigurd and sell it. You don't agree? It's just... Something feels odd about all of this. Can you even remember how this battle began? Why we're fighting here? Those despicable Arcanaeans started it. Uh, didn't they? I... believe so? You need to clear your mind of doubt. Hesitation could cost you your life. You're right! Looking to trade blows with your elders? You may dislike the result. Something is awry. I know I must fight. I know I must, but... Lower your weapon and yield. Yield, warrior, for we cannot. We are both fated to fight here, but I am fated to win! If blood must be spilt... My mother is Bridget of Fianna! I will not bow to you today! Ha! Huh. You think you have a chance against me? You're all just bodies to be laid in a row! I'll keep fighting, as long as I believe in a brighter future. Stand down before I cut you down. There's a way to end this conflict. You leave this land here and now. Leave here now? You do not belong in this world! Has the enemy summoned you to ravage our land? I'll not allow it! I'm the Black Knight Ares! Fight now or flee! You want to fight me? I hope you weren't expecting to win. No one defies me and lives! No one! No one will ever manipulate me again! I decide my own future! If neither of us will yield, then one of us must fall! Depart in silence and you will be spared! No? Then accept your ends! Continue this foolish opposition, and you will suffer at the hands of my magic. Are we doomed to fight this war forever? Leave this place! We have no quarrel with you! Get in my way, love, and you'll soon be lying by the wayside. I am Quan of Leostar! And you shall get what you seek! I have no love for bloodshed, but you cannot be allowed to pursue this fight. You have crossed between realms only to meet with your own death. Grovel before the greatest magic any world has ever known. In the name of House Nordian, I will prevail. Who are you? And why have you come to this land? For my husband, my brother, and my children, I must stand my ground. Live swiftly! Or answer to me for your crimes! King Marth, they've arrived! There, to the northeast! Katarina's otherworldly army, eh? Now we could finally strike back! Let's move! It's time to set this land free! Something has arrived! I know I must fight! I know I must! But... Stop messing with my head, whoever you are! I haven't done anything! Correction, I haven't done anything yet. Defend yourself! Perhaps it's better this way. There's a way to end this conflict. You leave this land here and now! Actually, um, the only way we can end this is by destroying you. Sorry. Forgive me, Lord Leaf. I was not ready. Female Soul Sword! Ha! Huh. Care for an arse kicking? Ha! Huh. I'd never turn my back to an enemy as bold as you. Show me what you can do. I concede victory. You fight as well as any I have known. Scurry home to your mother, lad. You got no business here. You should have left my ma out of this. Now I'm gonna whoop up on you. No respect for your elders. Leave here now. You do not belong in this world. I know. But until you are defeated, 
We cannot and will not leave. I lost? Uh, uh, but I managed to buy them time. At last! A woman with enough class to face me! I was starting to wonder. Well then, shall we? Shall we what? If you wish to raise hell, shut up and raise it. So ends my role here. My sword will tear through your armor like butter. It certainly will not. Watch what you say about my armor, you scoundrel. What a disgraceful defeat. But I will return stronger. Impossible. You're just a child. That's big sister to you. And I can kick your butt any day of the week. Who has the right to this battle? I no longer know. Is there no way to convince you to lower your weapons and yield? There is not. What we have is a conflict of interests. May the gods be more merciful with you than I. I cannot fight with these wounds. Must get to safety. Away, woman! I show no leniency toward the fairer sex. I may be lovely to look at, darling, but I'm anything but fair. <clears throat> Time to go. I cannot die here. I will stand for no rogue who threatens the peace of this land. I would say the same thing, but I suppose that's why we have wars. The Arcanaeans are as strong as the books say. <sighs> Stay vigilant, father. Come on now. Can't we cease this battling and have a cup of tea? I see starlights in your eyes, not fire. You're the second man to try that line on me. The world must be rid of you, flatterer. Die! I'm quite certain I'm missing something here. How could you best me? Face me again. I must know. Outworld ruffian! Prepare to be vanquished by the in realm's holy power! Let us both pray you wield weapons better than you do vocabulary. I wish you and I had met as allies. Do we really need to do this? I take no pleasure in beating upon the frail. Then I beg you, stand down, sir, for I cannot. So a fight is inevitable. That's too bad. I chose to fight. I regret nothing. What is little darling like you prancing around battlefield for? Go home before Gregor run out of good intendings. I fight for a cause. And probably with more skill than you. But by all means, feel free to prove me wrong. You win. I accept it. What's this? A child? I'm not a child! God, how many times do I have to tell people that? I was a fool to make light of those summoned soldiers. Ah! <laughs> now here's a worthy foe. <clears throat> In the name of truth and justice, I, Cynthia, challenge you. What obnoxious powder is this? Do you want me to swat you fly? Hey, you have to let me finish my intro. Those are the rules. Are all your kind such titans on the battlefield? A sage. It is encouraging to see wisdom among the enemy ranks. Wisdom? On these crimson grasses. Go back to your classroom, boy. Life itself is the greatest classroom. If you wish to convince me otherwise, you will have to teach me. I'm finished. I must retreat. A wyvern rider, eh? And a skilled one by the look of your mount. Then stand down before I cut you down. In the name of Minerva, I will not! Your world has the better fighters. I admit it. Oh my. Such distress. I can feel the agony in your heart. You'll feel plenty agony yourself very soon, little one. A fine retort. But you will die when we next meet. You noticed me? I'm flattered. Ha <laughs> so you have that problem too? And here I thought I was the only... Wait, why are we talking? Uh, fight me! How did you dent my armor? You strike me as a knight of ability, sir. I am Frederick of Yelis, and I seek a battle with you. 
I am Quan of Leostar, and you shall get what you seek. Forgive me, Sigurd. I can stand my ground no longer. Please, my lady, stand down. This battlefield is no place for you. Oh, yeah? You'll be singing a different tune once I'm done with you. I'm sorry, Quan. I should have been stronger. Are you standing in my way, love? Unwise if you're fond of your limbs. I stand upon the path I must walk, and I shall yield that path to none. Let us settle this quickly. Are all oh, other worldly warriors this <clears throat> powerful? I sense something unearthly about you. Who are you? <laughs> you seem no pushover yourself. Shall we see whose hexes hit harder? <laughs> I must stand down while I still have strength. While I still have hope of returning to my love. Unless an adversary who exhibits grace and character. A nobleman who... A man with no time for empty words. Draw and fight! Why do you keep fighting? It will gain you... nothing. Looking for a fight, girly? Looking to win one. And maybe teach you some manners while I'm at it. Well thought, my elder brother will always be the greater warrior. I've no love for bloodshed, but you cannot be allowed to pursue this fight. A sentiment which I must dexterously deflect back in your direction. But shall we dispense with the rhetoric? It seems quite superfluous. When you will expire shortly. I know when I'm outmatched. I must withdraw. You wear a troubled look beneath those flowing locks, friend. Need a shoulder to cry on? I won't judge. <laughs> you dare mock me. I'll rip that glib tongue from your gillet. It chains me to lose to phantoms like you from another world. Are you the enemy commander? You can still leave here with your lives. I appreciate the offer. But would it shock you if I refused? I can boast no longer. You have proven the greater fighter. This battle is won. For now. Hmm? Hubba said the Ain Hainriar cannot be vanquished with a single victory. Then we may have more trials to face here. It would seem so. Shall we head back for now? Wait, Krom! Look at this. One of the men said he found it here. An Ain Hainriar card? What's it say? Hmm. Sage Lord Leaf. The hero of Thracia. We could use a warrior like that. I yield. You are the greater warriors. If it pleases you, allow me to join my strength to your own. My name is Leaf. Perhaps you've heard of me? No, I have not. I'm the rightful prince of Leonster, a castle on the continent of Neutral. My lord father and mother are dead. Leonster itself annihilated. Now I fight with my comrades to set the world to rights. So, Robin was it? That mark on your hand, is that the brand? In my world, the brand is the mark of a great bloodline. Long ago, 12 exalted warriors used the power of the gods to save the world. Their heirs are born with the brand and the right to wield their sacred weapons. I myself lack the brand, though my elder sister inherited it. I don't know the significance of yours, but you must bear godlike powers! Do you bear godlike powers? Uh, no, I do not. Oh, then I am mistaken. Then where do your talents spring from if not the brand? I had two tacticians of my own, but you easily surpass either of them. Tell me how you do it. Were you entirely self-taught? I have no gift for strategy, but I do like to understand people. I see. You've experienced much. That is proof of a life lived fully. Thank you, Robin. I'm glad we have met. You make me realize both how far I've come and how far I must yet go, and that perhaps I won't need a god's help to get there. Let me join you on your journey, that we might grow together. Yes, of course. I never turn away a comrade.